Hey Busy Bees, what do you guys think about putting a unique twist on the classic meatloaf? Well today I've partnered with Plated to spice up your weeknight meals. We're going to be making a Moroccan meatloaf with roasted butternut squash and herb sour cream. Does that sound good or what? Give this video a thumbs up if your taste buds are ready to be transported to a faraway land and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more unique twists on classic dishes. All right, let's get started. Now with Erisi being so active, it's getting harder and harder for us to go out to eat. I used to draw inspirations from restaurants and chefs and seeing what they're doing out there and to be honest, Plated has completely filled that void for me. I'm always able to find adventurous dishes like this. I would never think to make Moroccan meatloaf, but I love that everything comes with a cooking guide here so I know exactly what to do and all the ingredients have come measured out. All I have to do is just prep and slice, which to be honest is my favorite part anyways because I find it so relaxing. You guys stay tuned till the end because I have a special code for you guys to try it plated. So first I'm just gonna prep my herbs and veggies according to the directions. I'll chop up these green onions, mint and cilantro. The directions say to separate the white part of the onions from the dark green part of the green onions. My favorite part. Just scoop it into my bowl. I've already worked on the purple onions here. All right, and then I can chop the cilantro and the mint leaves together. And chop, chop, chop. And that's it for the prepping. Now let's get cooking. All right, we're gonna start by sauteing our aromatics. First, I'll heat up one tablespoon of olive oil, let it get hot, and then I'll add our spice mix. The spice mix includes cinnamon, cumin, ginger, and cardamom. Then I'll add the white part of our green onions and the chopped purple onions. Now I'll just cook it and let the onions get nice and translucent. Oh, the spices combined with the onions cooking, it smells so aromatic. Get it? If you see the spices start to stick to the bottom, make sure you scrape it off because it tends to burn. And you don't want burnt spices in your meatloaf. Mm -mm. All right, our onions look nice and translucent, so I'm gonna transfer half of our aromatics into this bowl, and then the rest of the onions in the pot, I'm gonna add the ketchup to it. And now I'm just gonna let it cook with the ketchup for two minutes, stirring it together, and then we'll remove it from heat. Any of the spice that's kind of stuck at the bottom of the pan, once you add the ketchup, it'll lift it all off and then infuse the ketchup with so much flavor. Mm, it's gonna be so good. All right, this looks good, so let me go ahead and remove it from heat and we'll move on to the next step. Now I'm gonna start forming my meat loaves. Here I have a baking pan that I've already lined with foil. And then for my meat, I already have it in a bowl. So now I'll just add my breadcrumbs, eggs, our reserved aromatics, cause this is gonna help flavor everything. It's gonna be so tasty. And some salt. Now with my hands, I'm gonna mix it well. I'm just gonna make sure that this is mixed really well because the breadcrumbs and the eggs will help keep our meat together. It's like the glue. This looks good. And now it's time to form our mini loaves. What I like to do is just kind of divide this mixture into half and then half again so that they're all equal. I'm gonna make little football shapes. This looks good. I'm keeping them kind of spaced out so that they don't steam in the oven. Let me go ahead and wash my hands and then we're gonna brush the spiced ketchup on top. I'll just add a dollop of our spiced ketchup on top of each one. 
All right, this looks good. I have a little bit of our spice ketchup left over, but we're gonna reserve it for later. These are ready to go in the oven, but we're not gonna put them in yet because we're gonna make our oven work double duty for us. I'm gonna work on our butternut squash now. On another sheet pan that I've already lined with foil, I'm gonna add our butternut squash that came already cubed and prepped for us. The perfect roasting size. Our sliced red onion. Our za'atar spice. This is a Middle Eastern spice mix that typically contains nutty sesame seeds, dried herbs like marjoram or thyme, and sumac berries. It really balances out the butternut squash's natural sweetness. I'll drizzle some olive oil to coat everything, a pinch of salt, and with my hands, I'll just mix, mix, mix. I'll make sure that each cube of squash is coated with that za'atar and olive oil so that it has the perfect infusion of spice. I'll spread it out into a thin layer and these are ready to go into the oven. I have the oven set at 450 degrees and I'll just roast the butternut squash and cook the meatloaves for about 18 to 20 minutes. So while our food is cooking in the oven, I'm gonna work on our sour cream herb sauce. Here I have our sour cream and I'm gonna add it to a bowl. Half of our chopped herbs. I'm gonna start with juice from half a lime. I don't want it too tangy, so I think this amount is just right. A little bit of salt and pepper. I'll give it a stir and then I'll just set it aside until it's ready to serve. Oh, it smells amazing. Last step. All we need to do now is add the other half of our chopped herbs and mix it with the butternut squash. The chopped herbs here will add such a beautiful freshness to our roasted butternut squash. Oh, I already know this is gonna taste amazing. All right, this is done, our meatloaves are done, and now it's time to plate. To assemble our plate, I'm gonna take our herb sour cream, add a beautiful dollop onto our plate, then I'll top it with some roasted butternut squash, garnish it with some green onions, and now for our meatloaf, I'm just gonna take one, place it on my plate, and then with our leftover spiced ketchup, I'm just gonna add a little bit more on top. Our Moroccan meatloaf with roasted butternut squash and herb sour cream is done. I am ready to dig in. Let's cut open our meatloaf. No joke, you guys, this is like the best meatloaf I've ever had. The warm spices, the cardamom, cumin, and ginger really shines through. Wow. Color me impressed. Let's try the butternut squash. Mmm. Mmm. The sour cream sauce is so tangy and the fresh herbs in there mm, add this freshness to it. And the za'atar spice isn't something that I typically cook with, but I'm definitely gonna have to pick it up at the store and play with it some more because I really am loving the flavors. Like I said before you guys, I have a special coupon code for you to try out Plated. It's Honeysuckle20 and it's $20 off your first three orders. If you guys wanna learn more about Plated, I have a link in the description box below, so go check it out. Every week they have a variety of options that are really unique and interesting like this seared steak quesadilla with chimichurri sauce and they even have dessert options, so go check that out. And let me know guys if you guys would ever try making a fun, unique twist on your meatloaf and what kind of twist would that be? Comment below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.